Hey, so my son does this really weird thing. Um, when we're washing our hands or anything, we got to be really careful because he'll try to shut off the cold water and just keep it hot, super hot. And then when it gets hot, he has this weird face on him. Like, what is that? Um, I don't know if your guys' kid does this, but I know ours does. And I reached out to some other autistic moms. And um, one says, well, they like, my son likes to watch his hands turn red. How weird is that, you know? Because in their mind, they're seeing colors different. They see just everything different. So when they watch their their uh, hands or a body part turn red, that's got to be some sort of sensation. But with that, it's got to be some stimulation too. I mean, their body and the way they see and or they the way they feel is just very different. So I think the overstimulating sensation of hot water has got to be just kind of amazing to them, you know, kind of something. I don't know. But my daughter's the same way. My daughter is high functioning. And she tells me all the time, mom's not hot. And she does dishes. And I'm like, honey, that's hot water. She's no mom, it's not hot. So it's like, okay, well, they also have that pain tolerance level. Like they're they have they have a high pain tolerance level. Like my daughter gets scared of being hurt, but when she does get hurt or something happens, she doesn't really it doesn't really phase her. She fell off a bike and she scratched up all up and down her leg, and I'm just like Oh my gosh, I'm trying not to panic because I know if I panic, she's going to panic, right? So I'm sitting there and we're trying, uh, but it was, she's like, no, mom, I'm fine. But if she, the fear of falling off is really bad, she, she goes into a little bit of a panic. So it's just amazing that these kids, they, it's just a difference and them, you know, it's just, we need to kind of recognize the fact that their whole body, everything they feel, everything they see is just different. And we just got to take our minds out of that box setting, you know, like we're in this little box of how th we think it should be. Um, and that's just not the case, you know, if we can just step back and try to be like, yeah, they probably feel the slightest touch so different than us, you know? I mean, just how cool is that? How cool is that? If I don't ask my daughter the correct words, questions, like very specific, she really won't tell me. She really won't tell me. And uh, she's just very literal. So trying to get into her mind, trying to pick her brain is just as hard as anybody else. Like my, my son's completely nonverbal, so I can't pick his brain, but oh, my dog. <laughs> so yeah, um, I just wanted to share that piece, um, of realization that I, uh, had today.